My son just ruined his life. Caught on camera and now entered into evidence. This morning, the trial of Michigan mom Jennifer Crumley marked by video from the back of a squad car in 2021, hours after her then 15 year old son Ethan opened fire at Oxford High School, killing four classmates. Crumbly crying. I'm not I never really like, even like, thought even having mental issues. Like, I don't get what happened. Meanwhile, investigators search the family home, finding prosecutors say a whiskey bottle and a BB gun in Ethan's room. On his wall, bullet riddled shooting targets. Prosecutors say they want to wrap up their case this week, arguing Crumbly, who faces involuntary manslaughter charges, ignored warning signs her son could be violent. Her former boss testifying she could have taken time off to get Ethan counseling. I don't know what her what bank she had for PTO, but it won the matter to me. This after testimony from two former school administrators who say on the morning of the shooting, they tried to warn Crumbly and her husband James, who also faces charges, that Ethan was exhibiting violent behavior. The defense pushing back, arguing administrators weren't even concerned enough to search Ethan's backpack, which contained a gun. So based on him not caring or showing signs of nervousness, you had no concern there was anything in that bag. I had no reasonable suspicion. An attorney representing victims' families not impressed by the defense's case. Based on what you've heard from the prosecution so far, do you think a conviction is likely? Do you think they're making their case? Yes, absolutely. This kid did what he did and deserved his life sentence that he got too, but they absolutely were the adults. They had a responsibility and they absolutely needed to take their kid to get him help. Now, the former dean of students who you saw in that piece also testified yesterday that school administrators at the time didn't know Ethan Crumley had access to guns. And he added, had the parents disclosed that, they would have completely changed the process they followed. In the meantime, the defense, again, eager to take over this case with Jennifer Crumley, who faces 15 years in prison, expected to take the stand. Craig. Maggie Vespa Force there. Maggie, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.